Welcome back to another video. So here I have this braided wig. Oh, per y'all see, and I'm gonna be installing it. So if you wanna see this, give it a thumbs up. Okay, so I put some foundation. Y'all see, per I just use the angle brush because if not, you gonna get it on the hair. But yeah, it looks way better. This is double laced, so. I put some like in the back, but not that much in the back because I plan on wearing it down mostly. I like that it comes with this um this strap though. I wish regular wigs would came with it. Y'all see the difference? I can see the difference. I'm gonna light it up all the way. Yeah. I feel like y'all is short. There we go. I I still don't like this line, but I try my best to cover it. But it's really uncoverable. But purr. I feel like I, I can add a little more right there. It does tangle. Like it's tangling right now. I do have something that I use to to keep the wig from tangling, but I don't know where it's. I clip the edges up. I'm not using glue, I'm gonna spray it with this. I'm gonna clip the edges up. I'm gonna spray this. I'm over here watching the show. So I'm gonna cut the side. So I always do like right by my arch of my eyebrow. So I'm gonna split it up like this. I'm gonna just cut the sides. And then I'll spray, so I'm gonna come back. Yo, I'm watching Love is Blind. Irina is such a weirdo. Makab, Micah, whatever. She's weird as well. <laughs> I'm gluing. I'm not gluing, but y'all know. I'm um, spraying this down. So, I see where I want to put it. I mark the dot, and I just spray, like little sprays. Like, spread it out. And I, I'm gonna fan it and let it get tacky. taking this small razor y'all the small razors are better than the big ones because it's really precise but if you can't get a small one just just obviously use a big one but um i got this in a pack it was a pack of big ones and a pack of two small ones and i'm just gonna cut the lace spray it again now I'm gonna spray my finger and tap it in that's the better way to do it so here's how I tied it down don't worry about it I'm just letting it sit for like 
maybe 30 minutes. I don't know. I'm just watching the show. But I put foundation between every... Not every, but all the ones you will see when I wear it down. So all the parts you will see. So I put foundation in between them. I recommend using an angle brush. Like one that comes on an eyebrow brush. Because then it's more precise. You could use a flat brush like this, but it isn't as precise. Definitely not this. If you, if you, unless you want this black part to be brown, definitely not that. But yeah, I'll come back. Also, another name of this wig, it tangles, but I can't, I'm gonna, I gotta find my, what my secret weapon. Okay, so I think y'all saw me, um, cut the lace and I used my finger and glued it down, but, um, the edges, I'm not an edges person, like, this is a lie, but I try my best. I still do not like this line, like, uh, it's... If we didn't have this, it would be way better, but I try to finesse it. Putting makeup on it just really doesn't help at all. But overall, this wig looks so good. Like, y'all, her. I really hate how tangly it is, which is why, like, I understand when people actually get this hairstyle, they get it with human hair and not synthetic. Because, y'all, this shit tangle like no other, but y'all. I love the way this hair turned out. Like, it's so cute. Just wait for me to do my makeup and now I really set it up. It's just, it is just really tangly though. Like, I don't like that. And me, in my personal opinion, this line lets you know, like, that's a wig. But if it didn't have that, I feel like probably, probably you can't tell. I feel like you wouldn't really be able to tell. You know, like, something is off, but I don't know. Just this line, it's just really, it's a line of demarcation and it shouldn't be. I never really used this for my wig, but um, it did the thing, so, but purr.